here in Karingani uh, Game Reserve to try to catch a cohesive clan of hyena to move them to Gorongosa National Park. To catch hyena, we normally work in the evening. Uh, they're nocturnal animals. Hyena respond very well to other hyena calls to lure them into uh, the, baits, uh, the baiting site. <coughs> And once they're relaxed feeding, that's when the darting process starts. It's really nice to see all these different stakeholders coming together in Mozambique, showing capacity to repopulate um, a national park. On the morning of the big move, the hyenas were darted with anesthetics to induce immobilization. Removing hyenas to Gorongosa National Park, hyena became extinct uh, in Gorongosa um, after the Civil War. So this will be the founder population of, of spotted hyena in Gorongosa National Park. While they were sleeping, the team took biological samples and scientific measurements. The hyenas were loaded into a vehicle and driven to Masinjir Airport where they were moved onto the aircraft ready for their two-hour flights to Gorongosa. This is another um, culmination of a collaborative project in, in Mozambique and uh, another way to show again that uh, Mozambique is getting to the forefront of uh, conservation, collaboration and association between all, all partners. Uh, doing really pioneer um, operations. Karingani was again critical for that to happen. Um, we, we got the clan from, from Karingani, they held the hyena for about two weeks in Oboma. And the relay provided the, the bridge between the um, Anak, Gorongosa and, and Karingani and obviously the bed support. Gorongosa also bed support and, and uh, very, very welcoming um, um, open mind to, to put this together, very simple, it's a Mozambique, uh, Mozambican operation, Mozambican vets, Mozambique reserves and animals, so yeah, uh, another all under our supervision.